there. I hope your day's going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, I have a fun project to share with you for Pink Fresh Studio. This is part of their monthly challenge, and for January, the challenge is kind of everything goes. <laughs> so I'm just going to follow my heart and create a Valentine's kind of a card. We're using a stamp set called Floral Envelope. And then I do have the floral envelope die set that will coordinate. And also I have the floral envelope um, stencil set we'll be using on our card today. So first what we're going to do is do some stamping. And if you guys want to know more about the monthly challenges over at Pink Fresh Studio, I'll leave a link to their blog down below so you can check it out. There's lots of details over there on the blog challenges. Okay, let's jump in. We're going to take our stamp set. I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner and some white cardstock. I want to put two envelopes on my card today. So we'll start by stamping two of these. I'm going to ink my image up with my licorice ink pad. And I mentioned two of these. The envelopes are like the perfect size. I'm not sure if I could fit two in here or not, but we can try. No. So I'll bring in another piece of cardstock. And then we'll just stamp one more time. Now we have two envelopes. I'm going to go ahead and take my floral. We'll add that along with the bow here. We'll place them on here and we'll, we're going to, since we have our licorice ink out, I'm just going to use my licorice ink to color these in also. Lovely. And those are the two images that we're going to use today. Okay, I tacked down stencil number one and basically it's the most open area of the stencil for the florals. I'm going to use my sparkling rose ink and then my blending brushes here. We're going to pick up some ink and just go over our florals. I'm going to wipe away the ink from my stencil. For me, it's always easier when it's on my paper. I'm going to remove stencil one, and then we're going to take our next layer. I went ahead and tacked down stencil number two, and for this second layer, I'm going to be using my bubblegum ink. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my stencil here, but I'm going to use the same stencil because this has the second layer of the bow. I'm just going to lift it up. We're going to shift it a bit. And this second layer for the bow, I'm going to use the same exact colors. So I'll tack this down and just use my same bubblegum ink and we will layer the darker layer of the bow here. And then we'll go ahead and wipe this off. We'll take stencil number three. We're going to line it up. This one has the bow in the flower centers. So we're going to do the, the bow first. And then I'm going to, for this one, I'll bring back my sparkling rose ink. And we'll go ahead and add a little bit of color here. And then for the flower centers, which are these three pieces, we're going to layer these. Tack that down. And I'm going to use my Royal Kiss ink for the flower centers. I'll tack down stencil number four and we're going to bring in some green inks. I have fresh pear we'll go over stencil four with fresh pear And 
And then we'll take our final stencil, which is the detail layer for the leaves. We'll tack this down. We're using Grassy Knoll for the second layer on our leaves. And I want this to be kind of intense, so I'm going to go kind of heavy. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe off our stencil. Are you ready to see the results? We have a beautiful bouquet. Now I'm going to take the coordinating dies and I want to cut out each one of my elements. And I will be right back. So we have our envelopes and our florals. And the nice thing about the envelopes is there's a little slit in there for tucking. I'm going to put this off to the side. And while we have the grit mat out, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more stenciling. I want to create a soft gray background. So this is the simple plaid stencil set from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm going to go ahead and take some white cardstock and the base layer. Okay, I'm using two gray inks for my background and I'm going to keep it kind of subtle. I'm using Misty Coast and for this I'm going to be using my blending brush. I'm going to take up some ink and I'm just going to lightly go over. The nice thing about the Misty Coast is it's so light you could you can hardly tell it's there basically. But it's there. Doesn't look like I'm doing anything but wait until you see me remove this. Okay, watch. When we remove it, you can definitely see the color. I'm going to take the second layer to our stencil and we're going to line this up. We will tack it down. This fits an A2 panel beautifully. And for this one, I'm using Rocky Slope. We're just going to pick up some ink. Now Rocky Slope is a little bit darker, so I'm going to go over it really light-handedly. Okay, I think that's going to work out beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and lift my stencil. So very subtle and very soft. We're going to put this off to the side and then I'm going to bring in a couple pieces of white cardstock. They're two and a half by two inches. I created these to fit inside my, um, my envelopes, but I want to add a, a little bit of ink to them. So I'm going to bring in my fresh pair and I'll pick up a little bit of ink and I'm going to add some color to the very top. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my pink ink. This one is Sparkling Rose, and I'm going to add a little bit of color on the very bottom here. So we have two pieces of paper that will fit. This one's a little heavy handed on this side, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that. Um, in just a minute. Let's go ahead and create our card base. To create my card base, I thought we'd make a shaped one. I'm using the Pink Fresh Studio rounded and braided rectangles. And we'll take the largest. And then I'm also going to take this size here. Using this inner piece, I'm going to cut out a rectangle. Next, I'm going to take my top folding A2 size card base. We are going to run this through and create a shaped card. Just going to line up the edges and I'll run both of these through my die cut machine. I ran it through and basically what it did is it created the curve here and here. So I'm going to take the detail layer. I'm going to open up my card base and then I'm going to tack this down right over the top and I'm going to add my detail layer. Just add a little bit of tape and I'll run this through my die cut machine. So we have our card base with this beautiful detail. 
when you open it up. Okay, and then we have a plaid background. I'm going to go ahead and take this and we're going to tack this down to the front of our card base. What I'm going to do next is take my paper trimmer and I'm actually going to cut this in half. <laughs> I, want to, I want to stretch this a little bit, so we'll leave a little room over there. And I'm going to just trim this like so. And then we have this piece. And you're probably thinking, what is she doing? <laughs> but bear with me. So after our bouquet is cut in half, what I'm going to do is take one of our papers. I'm going to add this to the right side of my paper here. So using my tape runner, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. And I wanted to overhang this paper a little on the straight edge to straight edge. You can see it's overhanging a little bit and that's okay. And then I want to tuck it here. And we will do the same. After we have our paper inserted, I'm going to bring in our stamp set. I'm going to stamp for you with love. I'm going to use the same licorice ink that we use for our envelope stamping. Rub my hand over it a little bit. And I'm going to stamp for you here. Lovely. And then we're going to take with love. I'm kind of going to play around with my placement before I stamp the next one. Okay, we're, I know this one I went here and then this one I went kind of um, at an angle on this side. And then we're going to pop this up. So I'm going to stamp with love in this section here. Wonderful. I'm going to add some adhesive behind this envelope. I'm going to place these together. I think that looks really nice. Once they're tacked together, I'm going to take them both. I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to put some foam strips behind here. I'm going to remove the release paper. And we're going to tack down our envelopes. I think that's a nice spot. <laughs> and then I also popped up my florals here. We're going to go ahead and add these right along this edge. I think that's a good spot. And then I also popped up our bow here. I'm going to go ahead and take that and we're going to add our bow. Lovely. And now we need some embellishments. Let's go ahead and bring in some gems. I'm using the Pink Fresh Studio Glacier Jewels. The nice thing about Glacier Jewels is it picks up all the colors around it because there's an iridescent tint to them. I'm just going to funnel these back in our little zipper pouch. And that will finish off my card today for the Pink Fresh Studio January Challenge. There's lots of inspiration. Check out the Pink Fresh Studio blog. I'll leave a link down below if you want to head on over for details about the January Challenge. And I thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.